The teachers have had enough. So have the Metro Cops and the Chinese. This is the news. So let's get it on. China has attacked other countries for supporting the awarding of the Nobel Peace Prize to dissident Liu Chaobo. Beijing has warned that it will not tolerate those states that meddle in its affairs by making an issue of the award. Yes, Tim, it is very premature of these countries to be congratulating this Mr. Shaw boat for his prize. You mean uh, Mr. Liu, Mr. President? <laughs> Sorry, Tim, but you know... <laughs> <clears throat> it is very difficult to tell these Chinese apart. I gather then that we won't be extending our congratulations to Mr. Liu anytime soon, Mr. President. Maybe. But uh, <clears throat> then again, maybe not. Under pressure from the Chinese, Mr. President. Gosh, Tim, but you are full of all the questions today. Are you trying to ask all of them before there is a, the media tribunal? So we are not going to identify ourselves with Mr. Liu's struggle for the rights of his oppressed countrymen? The same sort of struggle that made Mr. Mandela a Nobel laureate as well. But this Mr. Liu, he is a criminal. He is in the jail. But uh, Mr. Mandela was also in prison, sir. But only once. This Mr. Liu, Tim, he is a repeat offender. He is not learning his lesson. Okay. Moving on. Teachers want more days off for sick leave and to get involved in union work. <laughs> yes, Tim. The Corsado affiliated teachers in the Eastern Cape have made a demand that government review their leave measures so they may have more sick leave. These very same teachers whose pupils consistently fail their metric. Last year, there was only a 50% pass rate. Well, it seems that this proposal has the support of the other provinces as well. Excuse me, Tim, but this is utter nonsense. It is, Mrs. Zille. Yes, Tim. Currently, the teachers get 21 days paid leave a year, plus 12 days sick leave. That excludes all the school holidays. So how many days is that? It is, uh, it is, uh, let, let's see. You see, Tim, apparently Mr. Vavi here should go back to school because he's not too good with sums. It's just too complicated for him to add up all the days these teachers want to do nothing but laze around. Uh, do you know how many days that is, Mrs. Zilla? Yes, Tim, too many. In the meantime, Mrs. Zilla, you want a teaching to be declared an essential service, uh, by government? Yes, Tim. It should be illegal for teachers to strike. We want all card-carrying members of the teachers' union to terminate their membership. Never! That is a criminal suggestion. Well, it's criminal that this union cares so little for education. This woman is a hyena, Tim. Oh, please, you can't even spell hyena, can you, Mr. Bavi? Hyena. Z-I-L-L-E. -L -L -E. Hyena. There! Oh, fantastic. What a comedian you are. Trevor Noah, eat your heart out. I think MTN needs a new CEO. A Brenton Reputation Analysis Company has calculated that the celebrity Twitter traffic cop spy, Peak Spotter, earned himself more than 600,000 rand in publicity in one week alone. Hey, Tubbs, check this out here. 615,000. 918 bloody runs. Where? Now, man. That's what this bloody pig spotter guy is earning for the publicity. In one flippin' week. Hey, 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 no, 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 can't be true. That much. Struz Bob says out here in the paper. How? You know what they say about stuff in the newspaper? Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's only when they write cock about the ANC and the government and stuff like that. You know, otherwise, it's all true. So, this uh, pig spotter, he makes a tweet. And then makes all his, this money? Yeah, yeah, you know, he's, he's got all these followers, you see, Tubbs? Like 20,000 or something. Uh, 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 just like that, he, he makes a tweet of us and 600,000, just like that? Just like that. He makes a bloody tweet of us. You know, there's, uh, this one, I think he owes us a lot of money. Big interest and... Yeah, yeah, wait till we get our hands on him, you know? 
I only charge him for criminal injury. You mean uh, crim crim criminal injury, yes? Yeah, yeah, that too. The Sharks meet the Blue Bulls in a Curry Cup showdown this weekend. But down in Durban, the KwaZulu Natal Rugby Union have another battle on their hands. They have been accused of racism due to their slow pace of transformation. <laughs> no, win. It's cook excuses, you know, Tim, you know. Because Buck is it big day and the guys is going to move those Sharkies into bloody sardines, man, I'm telling you. Coach. This is apparently a very serious matter. So is so. getting blocks and by buckies. That's not a laughing joke, ideally, especially when he uses his head. Well, it seems that uh, the Revenue Services and the Department of Labor are uh, investigating the union for non-compliance with regard to legislation. They should investigate them for bloody tutus and ballerina business. Still fierce rivalry between the two teams, eh, hey, coach? Yeah, Tim, you know, as bull supporters, you know, I can tell you we hate the Sharks guys on sight. You do? Yeah, it saves time. You get it? You get it? Yeah, you don't get I it. See. You don't get I, it. No. I see, coach. I can tell you another thing, uh, Tim. Those Sharks are going to be sleeping with the fishes very soon. Mm. Why are we doing this? Because here we can. From me and the team, it's hamburger. <laughs> Goodbye and foodsek.